Bit, bit, Fitzy and Whipper. Really excited about this tonight, Channel 10. Chrissy Swan. Would I lie to you? No. It, it's a huge show, especially over in the UK, coming to Australia. She is hosting it and she joins us right now. Chrissy Swan. Here I am. Thank you for having me, lads. Do you reckon you've got a good BS meter, as it is? Um... I, I do have a good BS meter, but yeah. I'm a terrible liar. Right, okay, so am I. I'm the worst at lying. Are you? Yeah. I, I would I'm have not thought good that at, you'd be good at it. No, I don't, it doesn't sit comfortably with me at all, oh, and I walk lying. away with a sickening feeling. That's how you got a job here at Nova. That doesn't matter. <laughs> That's different. I just laugh. When you're lying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I laugh, and do, um, and it, it's my dead giveaway. Do your kids see through the little white lies that you tell them every day? I don't, I don't lie to them, and they don't lie to me. We can't. We are a house full of terrible liars. Because they've, they've got it from me. Sometimes the, the, there can be strategic lies that will just help you get through the day. And a mate of mine, Ed Glenn, he says a white lie a day, a whopper a week. That's kind of how he budgets his lies. Is he a real estate agent? No, no, he's an architect, Is so he he's lawyer? selling the dream. No. Oh uh, my God. He's all right, but, you know, there's different levels of lying. Actually, before we get into because we've got some... We want to give you some real and some fake facts in a minute, but, okay. Chrissy, can we just say... You are glowing at the moment. Well, congratulations on the Women's Weekly cover as yeah, well. Phenomenal. Um, and our your Priceline ad, Wibber and I were so saying good. how good it is when you went through the different eras of fashion. Can I tell you, I've had three children and one a Logie, and and yet <laughs> that Priceline ad. Yeah. What about the radio? It's the awards? best thing I've ever done. Can the you, best thing I've ever done. Can you tell everyone the different fashion eras that you went through? Well, first of all, what's the first shot? The first shot is like Olivia Newton-John yep. in the physical, like yeah. a, full, a full lycra parachute <laughs> jacket. Yeah. Amazing. And really the killer there is the little fluffy tuft of fringe. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which was not my hair, by the way. No That's crimping. not my hair. Did That's you do any piece. crimping? There was no crimping, crimping sadly. No. Yes. I wish there was. Next time. Then I move into Madonna and Desperately Seeking Susan, oh. which I mean, and she was my spirit animal back when I was ten. I went to a costume party as her, so wow. that was that's my favourite look. Um, then I morph into it's like a Paris Hilton, yeah. Elle Woods sort of vibe in a in a velvet tracksuit. Yeah. Still oh a- no, the Bonnie Tyler one oh, in the yep. tasseled, yep. Uh, in the in the tasseled leather jacket. You, I mean, it was amazing. Got, Leno, have you got total eclipse of the heart in the system as we are talking to? Because this will bring what a Chrissy song. out even more. I mean, is that this would be one of your number one karaoke songs? Absolutely, wouldn't it? I sang this to my uh, all my friends at my fortieth birthday party. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Every now and then I fall apart. <laughs> yes, Bonnie. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. Every now and then I fall apart. She, yes. Magical. In this film clip as well, she does a lot of Don't looking into the distance, does she? Yes. She doesn't look into the camera. It's into the distance. It's all in the distance. Yeah. And there is a huge use of the fan. In fact, I met Bonnie Tyler Did once. You? When I was, yeah, when I was on a television show called The Circle. She was touring. Yeah. She came on. I was so excited and I thought, let's make this all about me. Mm. And... I thought this is my sing, op- did you? Oh, I did. This is my opportunity <laughs> to sing with Bonnie Tyler, Total yep. Clips of the Heart, into a fan. Can you? Wow. So I had two fans awesome. on us uh, off camera. Yeah. And our hair was blowing, and I knew all the words, and she didn't. Yeah. yeah. And you know, it should be no surprise to anyone that I do Bonnie Tyler better than Bonnie Tyler. Wow. She left pretty quickly straight after that, didn't oh, she? Oh, she thought I was insane. Hey, no, can we talk about? No, we're not this, talking about. This. I love the circle so much yeah. with Ding Dong you, yeah, Natasha Belling was on there as well Can Occasionally, you... no, the, the main core cast was Georgie Coglin, yes. right. Yumi, Yumi Steins and me That's yeah. right. Can you give us the, uh, the oh no, That was Beauty Stan and the Samanic. Beast That was Beauty and the Beast, oh. that was great <laughs> I used to love that. Oh, so with that, that was different with that to the Prue, Prue McSween. <laughs> Sweeney, McSween. Oh, and they'd all be like, yes. oh, everyone should, they would say outrageous things like, women should have bigger boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Get bigger boobs. Can yeah. You, I'm Stan Zamanic. Swanee, can you give us one of the loosest stories that you have from the circle that no one would know? Because I know that that was, you were flying on the seat of your pants with that show, like you were right on the edge throughout the whole time. Is there anything that happened on the circle outside of the show or with guests that stands out in your mind? Oh my God, so many. In fact, one of the most memorable 
stories uh, involves Frank Woodley, who yeah. is, of course, my new team captain on the show that premieres tonight, 8.30 on 10, would I lie to you? <laughs> he came on the show and uh, Yumi's, and he's a beautiful man, yeah. uh, but a private man, and Yumi's opening question to him was, uh, you've, got a, you've got a couple of kids. How do you... Um, you know, manage, you know, being on the road, say, yeah. you know, being a, a comedy icon and uh, parenting two kids. And, and he said, well, actually, uh, no, we don't. We've been trying for 20 years. Oh. And it was a oh. live show. And I remember looking out to the mm-hmm. audience. I use that for want of a better term, sure, the, the producer, the producer that had put together the research notes, she just picked up the notes and just buried her head <laughs> in the paper. And ran to the car with Bonnie Tyler. It was, yeah, it was a very <laughs> awkward, awkward you know, moment. Sometimes oh. when you, and that happens, it happens in radio and it happens in interviews too, where you might stumble over something or get a fact wrong. Yes. And the moment is like a sinking ship. It is, and it, but it's gut-wrenching. usually you can edit it out, but yeah. on radio or live television, you can't. You're gone. Yeah. You You're are gone. gone. And also, you know that I can't, once I see mm. something funny or something funny happens, yeah. I can't <laughs> stop laughing. So a lot of the show oh, okay. was the executive producer in all of our ears going, get it off Chrissy, Take, get the cameras off Chrissy. Get them. <laughs> She's lost because it again. I'm just doubled over, oh, you know, brilliant. over stupid things, yeah. Hey, Chrissy, just on that, with the show tonight, and I know it's basic, but can mm. we just do a, can we throw a couple of real and fake facts by you next? You want to humiliate me in front of all these good people? Yes, please. What's your fact me to like? Pretty good? Terrible. Okay. Terrible. All right. Fitzy and Whipper. Real. They're real. All fake. Oh, sorry. You're wrong. Here's why. All right, here we go. First one. Competitive art used to be an event in the Olympics, Chrissy. Between 1912 and 1948, art competitions were a part of the Olympics. Architecture, literature, literature, music, painting and sculpture. Only two people in history have reunited muscle and mind in the Olympics to win a medal, both sport and art. Is that real or fake? What have you got, Whip? I would like to add, real or fake, Cressy Swan, tissues got their name from people handing somebody who was crying a handkerchief and saying, for your teary issues. Uh, the tissues one is false and the Olympics one is correct. Oh, well Chrissy Swan. Swan. That's why she got it. the job. That's why Thank she got you. it. You know why mm-hmm. I know these things? I live with a 10-year-old genius. My right. kid yeah. um, just knows everything. I don't know where he gets it from. And he's told me both of the, Well, he's told me the, the Olympics one. Oh, mm. that is unreal. Yeah. Okay, let's continue it. Okay, well, you were just doing the tissues one. Mm-hmm. What about the origin of shooing, Chrissy? Shooing someone what away. What a shooey, a shooey for Shannon. No, no, no. no. Oh, Sh- I thought you were talking about the great Shannon no. Knoll. Oh. In, that, in that off-Broadway clip where he drinks beer out of a shoe. Who doesn't, mate? And slurs, it is a shooey for Shannon. Sh- <laughs> no, one of the is, greats. This is shooing someone away. Shoo, go away. Go away. It comes from telling someone you don't want them near you so they need to put their shoes on and leave. You're shooing them away. Put your shoes on and leave. Hmm. All right, okay, that's the first one. Here's another one. The term OMG, oh my God, can be traced back to 1917. <sighs> it first appeared in print in a letter to Winston Churchill. Um, that is correct. OMG can be traced back to Winston Churchill at that time. She's Spot on, Chrissy Swan. Well that's the correct one. Spot yeah. on, Chrissy Swan. Chewing yeah. is false. My God, I wish I was this good in the audition mm, for Would wow. I Lie to You because I, I may have got a I thought you'd as a definitely team be tripping up here. No, okay. I did. I know that too. That's not a guess. Okay, La, we'll give you one more. Is this true or false? Barbara Streisand suffered a broken arm filming the video clip for Wind Wings Beneath My Wings when she slipped over a mechanical giant dove as it flew through the streets of New York City. I don't need to hear hear what Whipper has to say because Barbara Streisand has nothing to do with the song Wind Beneath My Wings. Oh, spot on. Bette it Midler, is the great it? Bette Midler. Yes. Oh, man. Can Chrissy I tell Swan. you, I did much better on that than I did on Thursday night on Quick Draw with Kate, Kate. Tim and Joel. <laughs> awesome. My, my brain it fries, doesn't it, on died. The spot. It died. <laughs> I answered every question with my own name. <laughs> Honestly, like this. One of the questions was, "What name something that starts with S that comes in a pair? I said Chrissy. <laughs> I, mean, I 
absolutely <laughs> lost my mind. <laughs> oh, the panic <laughs> answer. Oh, Chrissy, we love you so much. It was so good to see you that day. She's a good hugger as well. I, I could, am a good I hugger. Crack, God, I'm I, loving I, hugging now that the pandemic seems to be. Yeah, feels good to feel. Off. Yes, I cracked it does. Back, I cracked your back too for you. I'll invoice you, you with that one as well. <laughs> twice, twice you did. Um, tonight, eight thirty, Channel Ten. Make sure you tune in. The new series, Would I Lie to You? Love you, Chrissy. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, Swanee. Thanks, Swanee. See you soon. See you, boys. Bitsy and Whipper.